Well, here's my setup for my flight simulator 10 that I am playing right now. Uh, my joystick, yeah, it's not too bright right now, but uh, my lights. But anyway, got the monitor. Well, I got the keyboard just sitting up like that right now. And, you know, the computer, which is hard to see during at night. Anyway, the HP computer. Anyway, here's my other monitor, which I kind of rigged up. I built all, you know, kind of built it up in there. Anyway, I just, if anybody's got any idea how to expand the monitor with Windows 7 from here over, I would take this monitor and go ahead and put it down here. But obviously, I can't get it to do it. I tried everything, you know, matched the uh, resolution for the monitor here and for that one, but that one's a little bit different. It's like a 1366 point something. This one's like 1600 by 900 or whatever. It's the new HP 20 inch. That's like an 18.5 inch monitor. Uh, anyway, you can see where I'm going right now. I'm heading to Dallas, Texas. K O C H to K D F W. It's hard to see, but yeah. And I'm on course, you can see there, and I'm on course up there. I still got 75 miles to go. ETA 26 minutes. Uh, stuff right here. But anyway, if anybody knows how to exactly, because I'm going to put this back down here, but I want my all this where I can see my whole aircraft all the way across, but I can't. All it does is just this, and then I have to go, whoops, sorry, uh, up here, hit Alt, and then I have to do views, and then, you know, go to the instrument panels and all that and just put this stuff up on this this monitor here so if you know how to actually do all that that would be excellent so I done looked at a lot of other videos that did exactly what it was and I have one video card that's built on board I guess on this one it's got one on the back of this HP it's got a an a, uh, HDMI and that HDMI is going to the new monitor and this one, and on the back of the computer, it also has a VGA cord from there, and it's going to this 18.5 inch HP monitor, which is a HP W185E, and this is the new one, the HP 2011X. It's hard to see, it's dark, but you know, I think you can kind of see it. It's like that one. But anyway, anybody can kind of give me an idea how to do it because this is just my setup for temporarily until I can get some help on that. So, yeah, please uh, let me know. And anyway, we're just flying to Dallas right now. So, you know, yep, we are flying to Fort Worth, Dallas. Ha -ha. Anyway, enjoy for another minute or two. Change the view, which, you know, I can change views and yes I know I named my plane as you can see yeah 1701-D <laughs> thought it was pretty cool give it a little idea here <laughs> uh, anyway you can see the ground all the images Pretty cool. There's cities and stuff down there where we're flying over above. Pretty cool. A little bit of the ocean out there, lake, whatever, water anyway. Uh, lots of clouds out there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm back to zoom out a little bit. Here we go. Uh, we got the 3D Extreme 3D Pro here joystick and I push that button and I can go back on the inside oh why my camera went blue a weirdo anyway yeah this camera is not that great not even sure if you can hear me very well but you know but anyway ooh, we're going into some clouds right. oh yeah you gotta know your gauges how to read them and stuff you know and your radio always got to keep up with your ATC you know your uh, air traffic controls, what that stands for, nobody knows, some people. 
Uh, anyway, that's how I have to do my monitor right now, though, put stuff from here up here, which I don't like, but that's what I want to do with my third monitor when I get it. But anyway, I need some help to expand this monitor going for the aircraft on the inside all the way viewed over this direction. It's right here, this big hole, this computer's going to be moved, and I'm going to put this big, big spot hole right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the monitor here and one right here and then that one's just going to stay up there for stuff like this so once I get a, two video cards or another video card to make three monitors or if you can somebody can do a video and tell me how to do a three monitor setup you know make it simple where I can understand it cause, you know and go slow to do it tell me uh, anyway just let me know what to do about the expanding all the way I did it in Windows I tried that settings it's extend the monitors you know extend it view which you know it still keeps coming up just like this and this blank this screen will be totally blank until I put stuff from here drag it up there and put it up there so anyway yeah uh, you got a tutorial on a video on how to do all that or give me some good ideas on how to set this up the easy way I'd really appreciate it Alrighty, and thank you, and bye-bye.